Hello, welcome to Grandpa's Underworld. Today we're going to do a serial killer named Elias Abolzavan. He was a serial slasher in the United States from 2009 to 2010. However, this changed on June 25th to 2012. He was an Israeli Arab over here on a green card. He was born in August of 76. His father had passed, so he was raised by his mother and potential stepfathers. After his mother remarried, they moved to the United States. However, he never attained citizenship. He married Don Costello in 1997 and divorced her to marry a Jessica Hearth. That marriage also ended in divorce, suspected of emotional abuse. Later, when finding out that he had been accused of murdering her and her parents were shocked throughout his life, he committed so many crimes resulting in jail time. He had worked as a mental health technician at the Piedmont Behavioral Center, and later he moved to Beecher, Michigan. When he turned 33 in 2009, he went to live with his uncle in Flint, Michigan, where he worked as a clerk. And, uh, in the King Water Market in 2010 and from July 5th to August the 1st he was in trouble for selling alcohol to minors. This seems to be the straw that broke the camel's back because that same day he was stabbing a 59 year old man and was suspected of stabbing 18 other people. Only five died. Elias himself I was not a thin nor small, standing six feet, five inches tall, weighing about 280 pounds. It seems like uh, Elias drove around looking for small framed men who were by themselves. And when he saw one, he would get out of his vehicle, go up to them and ask for directions. And we're asked him to help fix his car. It had just broken down. And when they got close enough to him, he would stab him. He was caught and sentenced to life in prison without hope of parole. Uh, instead, he filed it for, to be deported to Israel for the charge of attempted murder. He was uh, refused and the lawsuit was dismissed. Uh, that's all for me today. Have a good one. We'll talk to you later.